Hello guys, Dan here, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video we will continue uh, painting uh, with these uh, paint sets from Vallejo. Uh, this time we will go with the Nomad pack and we will try to paint this mini following the Angel Giraldes guide that is inside the box. So we will use the paints that are provided inside and try to achieve the, the same uh, effect of the paint scheme of this model that they provided it in this uh, guide so let's see uh, there is like 10 steps there and uh, we already see that they didn't provide any blue for the hair uh, but uh, yeah i will explain it to you and i show you like uh, which color you can add and uh, manage to complete the, the whole miniature so i will just assemble this prime it and then let's start so it says, since the figure have a large amount of red color, Hull Red is applied as the base color, both on the clothes and on the armor. Uh, as we can see here, they uh, primed the mini with the black and then they airbrushed the red on it. But we will do everything with the paintbrush. So I already primed my uh, mini black. Uh, I just used the, the black color that they provided in the box. and. Uh, I try to get even coat all around and now I just uh, follow this guide I used the uh, hull red and then I painted uh, all the armor panels and all the clothes that she have uh, at this stage I avoided uh, painting the straps uh, since they used the airbrush they painted everything so probably they will do some kind of cleanup later uh, but in this case uh, we don't need to do any cleanup because we'll be tidy and we'll just paint the necessary parts. Uh, I finish with this step and I have to say that this color have a really good coverage so uh, I needed only uh, one or two uh, very thin coats to have uh, this level of coverage so let's go to the next step then step 2 says a burnt red will be applied next as a second base color on the armor to modify the shade of the armor from red of the clothes. Uh, so actually they painted only the armor and those uh, hand straps as we can see in the next step. So let's do it. So this is uh, pretty straightforward. So I just used the burn red as they advised and just uh, painted all the armor panels on the chest and those little armor panels on the hands that we have. And uh, there was also, also a few armor panels on her sides. So I think uh, here I had to use like uh, two uh, very thin coats to have a uh, good coverage but overall uh, everything went smoothly a uh, thing here is uh, so they want to show us how to actually uh, paint uh, red over the dark surfaces so actually you have to start with some kind of brown and then go to the dark red to be able later to pull the colors to the brighter red color it's really interesting way and i really like it how the end result uh, turned later Step 3. The first highlights on the armor are applied with flat red in fine layers so that overall red is continuous. So what they achieved here actually, so they painted all the armor with this flat red and they uh, told us to try to get an uh, even coat all around. So let's try to achieve that. Uh, this step is uh, same as before, really easy step, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Only thing is uh, with this color that I noticed, uh, it is uh, really transparent. So I applied uh, this in three or some parts, even four uh, very thin coats uh, to try to achieve the even coverage all around. Uh, the other thing is, uh, 
the shade of this red is slightly different than the one in the printed material. The one in the printed material is like super bright. As we can see in this tab, uh, they didn't mention in the guide, but here you can see that they actually repainted black all the latter parts of this model uh, to clean probably their uh, overspray from the airbrush. Uh, actually here we will use this step to clear any mistakes that we did. Step 4. Hull red is applied with a fine brush to accentuate the difference between the plates and to paint the grooves of the armor. So what they actually want from us to do here is to do uh, a shading. So uh, actually they won't wash uh, the armor panels because they are flat and then it will be stained so you have to repaint it uh, all over again later. Actually what they did uh, is they told us to use the small brush and then uh, just uh, use our base color uh, which is actually the whole red and go into the recesses of these armor panels or every place where the two armor panels are coming together and draw a little lines just to create the shadows. This technique is mostly used when painting like big robots like a Gundams or something like that uh, because they have a lot of armor panels and it's uh, very easy to create the shadows and it's actually a really effective method. Oh, in the next step says the second highlights are centered on the highest parts and ridges with a mixture of 50% of flat red and 50% of orange fire. I will start highlighting the model as they advised. So they say uh, apply it uh, on the most uh, highest areas. So we will start applying this on the most raised areas of the armor, so actually the ones that are mostly exposed from the lights that will come from above. And uh, I will apply this in uh, two thin layers to get a good coverage and try to get an even coat on these uh, little areas. And they say to apply like uh, around the ridges, so you can apply like a very small edge highlighting uh, on these areas, but try to avoid the recesses, uh, not to mess up with our shades that we did before. And I use this opportunity to paint uh, all the buckles on the leather straps and on the backpacks and these little pouches that she have. Uh, there is a lot of these buckles actually at the back of the model as well. Uh, a small amount of sunny skin tone is added to the mixture of step 5 and this lighter color is used to further highlight the armor. So actually uh, we'll just keep highlighting the armor uh, but now we will go with even the smaller areas uh, that we covered before. So actually with this color you can do just the edge highlight on some parts of the armor uh, while on her chest you, you will cover a little more. I actually didn't have to add a lot of design skin tone, I think I just put like uh, one or two drops from my brush and I got a really nice uh, uh, brighter color to be able to do these highlights. So this step was pretty easy as well. Step 7. Lastly, a small amount of the color ivory 
is used to define the ridges of the armor and then a very smooth wash with flat red is applied all over the armor to unify light and shadow. So actually what uh, are uh, we going to do here is uh, that we are going to apply this uh, ivory color as a little dots on, on like the edges of the armor or you can uh, make a little lines as a panel lines on some part of the armor and uh, later uh, when we do the wash over it they will actually turn a little pinkish or reddish and they will create a very nice highlight so here is the final result how i did it and i used this opportunity as well to paint the paramedic sign on her back as well and then i made the wash as they said in the guide so i mixed like 80 percent of water and 20% uh, of the flat red color. So to make it like really, really transparent, this is like more like a glaze actually than like a proper wash. And then uh, I went uh, all over the red panels. So actually what they want us to do in this step is to unify all the colors and to create a good transitions between them so that everything look like a one complete part so you won't actually see the layers between the colors. Uh, it is really good effect and I really like uh, how the model turned after everything got dried. And this part is finished, this is the final result. So time is uh, to start working on the pants. Uh, what they say here, starting with the hull red, for the base color of the pants, sunny skin tone is added for the highlights. The high areas and the ridges will need to receive most of the highlights. Okay, so what they want from us in this step is actually to start with the uh, hull red as the base color and then just keep adding a few drops of sunny skin tone to the mix and start highlighting uh, only the most raised areas on the pants until we got like the final highlight which will have a, a lot of sunny skin tone so actually what i did is like uh, i added one drop of sunny skin tone to the mix and then i painted uh, like let's say 80 percent of the pants while leaving uh, the recesses still intact then i added a few more drops of a sunny, sunny skin tone and then painted uh, like 60 percent and then I added a third time a sunny skin tone and then I did just the edge highlight or the most raised the folds of the pants and uh, do the little lines here and there just to create the final highlight. And I applied the, the same process on her sleeves as well. And that's it, that's all the work that we're going to do on the pants. Uh, uh, so now we can proceed to the next step and uh, see what they have prepared for us. Step number nine, belts, pistol and bracelets. First, the base color black is applied and then small amount of medium sea gray for the first highlights. Actually, I think there is some kind of a mistake here in the translation or something. I think what they wanted to say was to mix the medium sea gray with the black to uh, get the, your first layer uh, of the highlights. So I actually did that. I mixed those two colors, like maybe 50-50, and start highlighting the most raised areas of the belts, uh, gun holster, uh, gun, these little backpacks and pouches that she have all around. Uh, since we are working with the black or dark area, I applied this in only one uh, thin coat, uh, because in the next step they want us to introduce uh, only medium sea gray, so that will be a second highlight, so you don't need to go uh, over this area multiple times. Step 10. Further highlighting with medium sea gray will achieve a better definition of the details. 
this will be one of the final steps for highlighting the straps. So uh, what I did here is I edged, highlighted all the sharp edges and I draw like a little cross lines over the letter straps just to create a, a highlight of the reflections from those letter straps. So just go around. So this is the pure uh, medium C gray color, uh, nothing added to it. When it comes to the gun, I just use the side of my brush and I did the edge highlight on all the edges uh, of the gun. Step 11. Next, the color ivory is applied for the last highlights, concentrating mostly on the edges and lastly, a wash with the black is applied to the surface to unify light and shadow. In this step, actually, they want us to do the same that we did when we were highlighting the red. So, I will use the ivory and I will just create a little edge highlights uh, on the edges. Uh, this will be actually much smaller highlight than it was done with the previous color. Actually in some areas you will only have to put a little dot uh, because later when we wash everything, everything will get toned down a couple of steps so all the uh, highlights will be subtle and then all the colors will be unified uh, on these pouches, uh, belts, uh, backpack uh, so everything will uh, start looking great. For the wash, I actually uh, mixed uh, like 80% of water and a little of black just uh, to have this consistency. And uh, I went uh, all around the model and uh, washed all the black parts. So this was like the final step and it really tied the model together and uh, everything looked great after this step. Actually uh, the guide finished here and there is no more explanations for anything else. Uh, only thing that we have left to paint on this model is actually skin and the hair. Uh, I understand the hair is optional and that every person will probably uh, wanted to paint the hair differently and actually for the skin they give us enough colors that we can mix and make a skin tone so that's uh, what I'm going to do next uh, I will explain you how to paint the skin uh, with these colors provided inside this box uh, to create a skin tone, I mixed uh, Hull Red with a sunny skin tone, like 60-40 mix or 65-35 and then I just painted uh, her face with this color and as well her hands. So uh, because this color is really transparent and the uh, undercoat is black, uh, use this uh, like in uh, two or three very thin coats to have a good and even uh, coat uh, on the, her face and the hands. This is the end result that I got uh, with this color. And I used this opportunity to paint the eyes as well. So I used the ivory and just painted the eye sockets uh, with this color. So uh, when I apply the wash uh, now on the face, uh, I will wash the eyes in the same time. As in previous steps when creating the wash, I uh, used 80% of water and just like 20% of the burnt red just to have this like uh, wash consistency 
it's like a milk consistency you can see it on my finger it's like uh, really transparent and I then just washed uh, her face and the hands as well with this color uh, after wash is completely dried I'm going back to my previous mix of the Hull Red and Sunny Skin Tone and I will start highlighting the face. So at this stage I will highlight only the most raised areas like the cheeks, nose, uh, top of the forehead and on her hands you will uh, highlight the fingers. And for the final highlight, we will add a more sunny skin tone to the mix to create even a lighter highlight. And uh, we will highlight the uh, face again, but this time much, much less. And uh, the same areas like top of the nose, forehead, a little on the cheeks and a little on the fingers as well. Uh, to finish off the eyes, I will use black and just make a little dot in the middle of the eye to create a pupil. To finish off the model, uh, we need to paint the hair. And I decided to paint it same as on a box art. So the only color that you will have to add to your collection if you wanna uh, paint it same as I did is this one. It is light sea blue. And uh, we will apply it uh, in uh, two very thin coats uh, over the hair. Just to have a good coverage so you don't see any uh, black uh, color transparent through it. So just try to be neat as possible here so we don't uh, mess up the face or the color that we painted before. And I use the same color for her eyebrows as well because on the art they are painted the uh, same color as her hair. Then I use the same black wash that we used uh, while we are uh, washing the black parts of this model and I just apply it uh, over her hair uh, very gently and very thin coat so that it just go into the recesses of the hair and create the shadows there. After wash is dried, uh, I went back to the light sea blue and I was just drawing uh, little streaks, little lines on her hair uh, it's already sculpted, so it's very easy to follow and uh, just create the highlights. And for the final highlight, I mixed a little of the ivory into light sea blue, just to create uh, a little lighter blue. And I went again and uh, drove the streaks on the hair. Uh, and that was my final highlight on this model. And to finalize the model, I decided to do some uh, technical paint to create a base. Uh, so I used the Martian Iron Crust from the Gangs Workshop. And uh, this is a technical paint, so you just take the modeling tool and just spread it uh, evenly around the base. 
just be careful not to go over your model so you don't mess it up uh, because it will be super difficult to do any repairs at this stage so just have patience and then spread it and after it's dried this model will be done and that's it uh, i have to say that i really like this paint set uh, because they give you a really good colors inside and they teach you some really nice techniques how to do the, the flat armors and, and the black armors as well with the painting straps and the backpacks so only thing that was added here was the blue paint for the hair uh, but that's optional to you so you can add any color to one so I would recommend this uh, to anyone who's collecting nomads it's a really good thing to start painting this army and guys I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did Please uh, like and subscribe to the channel, it will mean a lot to me and it will help this channel grow. And if you have any comments and suggestions, please leave a comment below and I will try to do my best to reply. This is all for now, take care, stay safe and see you in the next video. Bye bye!